Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you this time that you've given me, that I may share your word. Being Sunday, oh God, I pray that somebody will feel or motivated to go to your house so that they can be blessed, oh God. For them that are not able to go because they are sick, stretch out your for, for your healing heart and touch them. Them that maybe are uh, stuck because of here and there, I pray that you may minister to them, even as we share and celebrate your moment in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrate your moment with joy this, this Sunday. I, I always like to share on Sunday and remind you yet again it is good to go to the house of God I know there is a lot of things going on especially for me today but I have to share something with you I don't know whether you have gone to church or whether you are planning to go to church if you have not please plan on going to church maybe in a later service and the Lord will bless you the title of my message will be divine delay sometimes we wonder when we pray for something or we are expecting something or we ask somebody to give us something most of the time we want to get it right there and then and when we are not we are impatient patient somebody said is a virtue but uh, lately this generation we are in these days we are in patience has lacked its place in our lives how i pray that this day you may remember that patience pays and that delay is not denial i am gonna give you a homework yet another time to read john 11 it's a, the entire chapter you'll be able to get the full meaning of what I'm gonna share. This is about the story of Lazarus. Lazarus was dead and Jesus loved Lazarus and uh, when he was sick his uh, Lazarus' uh, sister Mary and mother sent for Jesus but he delayed and they were of course if you are a friend and you delay in what I'm requesting you I'm not gonna feel very good and I'm sure that is how that was the case with Mary and mother but listen to what the word of God says. I'm just I'm gonna sk uh, skip a, a few of the first I'm going to read it from uh, from verse that, that, uh, 32 which says then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him she fell down at his feet saying to him Lord if you had been there my brother would not have died therefore when Jesus saw her weeping and he the Jews who came with her weeping he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and he said where have you read him they said to him Lord come and see Jesus wept hmm then the Jews said, see how he loved him. And some of them came, uh, said, could this, could this, could not this man who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus again groaning in himself came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, take away the stone, mother, the sister of him who was dead. Say to him, Lord, mm, by this time there is a stench, or he's thinking, for he has been dead for days. Then Jesus said, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you have you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I Say, said this, they, that they may believe that you sent me. Oh, verse 43. Now, when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who was dead came out, bowed hand and foot with the grave clothes, and his face was lapped with a cloth. And Jesus said, said to them, lose him and let him go. Delay is not denial. Though Jesus had delayed, these people had given up. I want to tell you, whatever you could be going through, the delay that could be there, do not give up because quitters never win and winners never quit. We, you may give up on your uh, on, on your children. Do not give up. Jesus is coming and he's going to speak forth a word of revival. He's going to come forth and speak a word of restoration. Is it in your marriage? God is going to speak for them and bring it uh, out. Sometimes in between we lose the real thing because we are impatient. Is it in your education you did that exam and you failed it because of that program then you change the program. For how long are you going to change the program? Stick and the Lord will come and fulfill his promise that uh, you, we, you shall be the head and not the tail according to Deuteronomy 28 that in define delay. Define, are you going through a defined delay? How I pray that my defined delay will come and 
and bring glory to God. It may cause tears when we are in that defined day, but God is coming. May the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to know that delay is not denial. And you are coming in whatever situation we are in. I thank you, King of Kings. Thank you for the story of Lazarus. What an encouragement it is. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. Let us continue to share this word with as many people as you can. And I want to remind you again to subscribe and the Lord will bless you.